kind of the last few years, man, we've been so common. Uh, water temp is going to be in the upper 50s, 8, 9. We're going to have fun today. It's pretty much going to be a free spawn fight, even though I guess technically we're in the late fall or the winter. Um, they're thinking about spawning, so y'all come check it out. Hopefully, we'll get some big ones. Alright y'all, so we are rolling up to the set of docks that I want to fish, and this dude is a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky kayak spot. Um, the deal with it is they're just super shallow. I'm probably in a foot, foot and a half right now, and it'll get even less than that when we actually get up to the docks. Um, this little stretch has just been, it's been on fire though, and normal, for this time of year, on a warm up, um, they don't mind not being steep, right? So, the best way to get to these docks is if you launch at Jim's place on the north end, head straight up the lake, and this is going to be the first set of docks on the left. And the thing is, bass boats just don't fish them. They really can't get here. I mean, look, bottom, right there. Um, it's it's just deep enough for the fins on this uh, on this pelican to go all the way down not gonna get a ton of bites right but normally this time of year when you catch fish around here they're gonna be quality what I've been getting are kind of like those uh, 16 and a half to 18s um, but a, a truly big one will show up for sure I've uh, I fished this little stretch yesterday pre-fished it yesterday and then once uh, once about a week ago and they have just flat out been here uh, so I'm just going to rotate a few baits. I'm going to start with a buzz bait. Now the water's about 58, right? So what I want from a buzz bait is a really big prop so I can just get that slow, kind of steady retrieve going, make a lot of noise. They're not going to want it super fast. And if for whatever reason they don't come up on the buzz bait, it's going to be to a spinner bait and then a chatter bait and then a jig. So that'll kind of be the rotation and I'll just really thoroughly work this stuff back and forth and sometimes the little sweet spots will change um, I've only caught a couple on this first dock it's the, the best stuff has been a little bit further in I would like a little bit less wind for this uh, buzz bait you definitely want some ripple uh, but the rolling ways may be too much for it. The spinnerbait may be the best deal today. And definitely not afraid to fish behind myself with different uh, with a different look. So I roll through this dock with a buzz bait. Don't catch one. That didn't mean the dock's not good. I just may have uh, may have shown them the wrong thing. All right, y'all. So I'm changing it up to a four and a half. Uh, Hildebrandt, Colorado. Get a little more thump, which is always uh, it's always good in colder water, and especially dirty water. So this may this may be the ticket. I'm telling you, man, that's one thing I think that's it's kind of starting to be a lost art of uh, really fishing shallow all the time is learning how big those little adjustments are and uh i mean it took me a long time to really realize that too it's not something i've always done i would just say oh, if i'm going to throw a spinnerbait i'm gonna throw a spinnerbait or you know or whatever but uh these little adjustments can really help Man, it just looks so good for it right now too. Kind of the kind of the deal yesterday. I don't know if that bigger profile is what they wanted. There you go. Good fish. <sighs> Not bad. But definitely not the caliber that was in here. That pretty spot. Black, yellow. Alright. 
it's a start. Good fish. So I wasn't expecting a bite. Where I cast, he was just right on the rocks. Smoked that chatterbait. Crushed them shallow. Zayko. Love it. Let's see if it helps. I don't think it will. Nope. No coal. 17. Still a pretty fish there. Come on, baby. Come on. Get your head up. Now that is a December buzzbait fish. I mean, smashed it right at the boat, dude. That was awesome. So apparently this dirty water is kind of the deal. I thought it was a little bit too muddy, but there we go. 17. I've caught so many 17s this month. I mean, she was right at the boat when she bit it too. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Look at that, man. Good. Oh, my drag. Oh, that's a 19. Okay, this is the north end of False River on Navionics. And I want to show y'all where I launched, where I fished, and why. I used this first boat ramp, the bottom uh, the bottom icon that you can see on the screen. That's the Jim's Place boat ramp. And there's a couple options. You can follow this 10-foot con this contour all the way out, and there's brush piles that are just lining that contour. But you see where it necks down and, and kind of meets that really shallow, flat stuff? you got a big chunk of 5 feet. And then it necks down, and where that 10-foot contour is close to the 5-foot, that's a little sweet spot right there that I just worked back and forth. On those warm-ups, they don't mind the flat stuff. Now, if it were a post-front day and the water was really cold, I would bump across to the north end. And you can see how tight those contour lines are. It falls into 20, 25 feet quick. So they want access to deep water when it really gets cold. You can just work that back and forth. There's some different rock banks and they'll move up periodically to feed. Uh, so three options. You've got the 10 foot contour brush, you've got the flat stuff on the warm up, and you have those steep banks on the, on the far north end of the lake um, for that really cold water post front. 